What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Jiu Jitsu Hustle. Today we are going to be talking about cauliflower ear and how to take care of it. A lot of people ask me all the time, why don't I have cauliflower ear? The reality behind it is I've had it many times. The thing is, I manage it properly. So I'm going to go over the system that I use to keep the mares clean. So, you got the problem. You got cauliflower ear. Step one, you need to get some gloves. Gloves, guys, this is your PPE, your personal protective equipment. Whether you're draining somebody else's ear or you're draining your own ear, we gotta stay safe. Second thing you need, you need to sanitize it, okay? Got some alcohol wipes, get something else to clean that ear up. You're gonna take a prep pad, you're gonna clean up all inside that ear and make sure it's nice and clean. Step three, you gotta get a syringe. So, how do you get a syringe? Really, you just go to Walgreens, go to CVS, um, ask them for a syringe, you'll be able to buy it for them. Depending on where you live, though, they may not be able to give it to you, in which case you might have to ask a friend. If you have a friend that's a type 1 diabetic, that might be a little bit of a better option for you. If you can't get a syringe, well, forget this video and just go to the doctor and let them drain it for you. Step number four, get yourself some antibiotic ointment. After you drain your ear, you got an open wound on your ear. Same thing as any cuts or scrapes, you want to make sure that it stays safe. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, man, I've already done all this before. Well, this is the part that I use that's a little bit different and helps make sure the cauliflower stays away. So what happened is, you got cauliflower ear, your ears, there was a separation, fluid came inside, and then now you drain that out to prevent it from hardening and staying that way. Now what's going to happen eventually is that it's going to slowly start to refill and you might need to drain it again. Now to help with that, we're going to use the two magnet trick. I get a gauze pad, I get two magnets. We're going to take the gauze and we're going to put the two magnets on the outside of it. Now you're going to get some tape and you're going to wrap it around to hold it all in place. So now that you've drained your ear to prevent the fluid from coming back in, the magnets are actually holding the two pieces together to stop the liquid from coming back inside. Now guys, you're going to have to take some time off. Every time you get more trauma in there, those layers reopen up and you get more fluid in there. If you do, you got to fight, you got a competition coming up, make sure you're wearing your headgear, okay? You might need to repeat the process a couple times, but this is what I've done to help me keep clean ears. Thanks everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I appreciate all the love.